Yeah, welcome to question number eight. A body of mass 30 kg moving with a velocity of 70 meter per second collide with another body of mass 40 kg moving with a velocity of 55 meter per second. If the two bodies move together in the same direction after collision, find their common velocity if they move in A, same direction B, opposite word direction before the collusion let's see if we want to deal with the first part uh, the first part let's just say we have the bodies this is going to be 30 kg can i make it a big bigger so i have my 30 kg body moving in this direction with velocity of what? What is the velocity? 70 meter per second. And the second body, which is also 40 kg. This will be a lot bigger than the first one. Also moving with a velocity of uh, U, okay, 2, right? Which is also uh, 55 meter per second. So after a collision, they are all moving in the same uh, direction, right? The first part of it, same direction. That means that if I have the first body collide the second body, they will all be moving with a similar velocity. Where we are going to apply the conservation of what? The law of momentum or the law of conservation of momentum. We say that the momentum before collision is equal to the momentum afterward, the collision. So they'll be moving together in the same direction with a common velocity. So in this case, we still have our 3, 0 kg and 4, 0 kg with a common velocity. So we can say here that the momentum here, M1, uh, U1 plus M2 U2 will be equal to M1 plus uh, times the V, V is the common velocity, M2 all multiplied by this common velocity in the same direction as they are going. By substitution, we can have our 30 kg times 70 plus uh, 40 kg times 55 equals to V multiplying 30 plus what? 40 kg. And in that case, when you multiply, you have 2100. When you multiply this, this will be 220. Mm, okay, then, yeah, 220 times 10. So that will be 200. That's 2,100, that's 2,200, all right. So that would be equals to 70 times what? V. Can we add this together? That will give us 4,300, right? 4,300 equals to 70 what? V. So your V would just be 4,300 divided by what? This. You should be having somewhere 600 or something. So let's see on our calculator. Uh, 4,300 divided by 70. So leaving the answer in one decimal place will give us uh, 61.4 velocity, so meter per second word, square. So this is the common velocity at which they are all going to move in. That is in the same direction. You can see after collision, they are moving in the same direction. All right, let's go for the B part. If I want to draw the diagrams again, let's say we have this as 30 kg, which is moving in this direction, velocity one, still with, uh, let me change it black, 70, right? Meter per seconds. Then the second body 
which is bigger 40 kg now moving in the opposite direction making our u2 to be equals to uh, 55 meter per seconds and if they collide together so i'm having this body being the smaller one the bigger one 30 kg 40 kg you can see as they collide which direction do you think they'll be moving they'll be moving in the direction of the bigger mass so they are going to move in this direction but still with a common word velocity so as the direction here is in the opposite direction it's not going to be a summation it's a negative direction so the positive and negative will change to become what negative let's check that out so from here we can just have our m1 u1 minus m2 u2 so this is for the before collision so m1 plus m2 v don't forget they are going to move in the same direction for after collision so they still have addition of their momentum out there so by substitution i still have 30 multiplying 70 then minus 40 multiplying 55 equals to v multiplying 30 plus what 40. so by that multiplication we still have uh two one zero zero two uh two zero zero equals what seventy v here there'll be a subtraction hundred here hundred here so if you subtract you should be having only one hundred right we got two hundred two hundred will go so we left with negative one hundred equals to seventy v so your v will just be negative 100 over 70 that will be a negative i think zero to cancel so it should be somewhere one point so 10 divided by 7 will be the answer so as we be having negative one point what four meter per word second so this will be moving uh in the word direction of 40 kg you can see that this is bigger than it even if you don't know that it's bigger you can see the negative shows the opposite movement here yeah, this is moving in this way this is moving in the other direction which is carrying the negative so that means that the body will be moving in the direction of what 40 kg i guess clear all right like share comment subscribe and come back for question number nine